Hi everybody, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I'm super excited to share with you all my fall and winter coat collection. So all my coats are just behind me here and I'm gonna go through them one at a time. For anyone who may not know, I live in Kelowna, BC. It's in Canada and in my opinion, we get very cold winters. I know other parts of Canada and other parts of the world probably get a lot colder than we do, but I am a baby when it comes to the cold. So I've kind of collected quite a few coats to keep me warm and to keep me cozy. And I'm gonna show them to you one at a time, starting with kind of the least warm coats to the warmest coats that I have. Make sure that if you want to see more videos from me that you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. And if you are interested in any of the coats that I have in this video, um, you could just check the description down below. Some of them may not be available because I've bought them maybe four or so years ago, but I'll try my best to find similar items for ones that are sold out or if they're still in stock, I'll put the exact link there for you. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. So this first coat is a blazer from Lioness that I got off of Princess Polly. It's a super cool beigey sand tone and it has the shoulder pads, kind of the boxy boyfriend fit. I've worn this one a few times styling it with more of a blue denim, white shirt kind of look and I'm super obsessed with it. It's definitely a good fall staple to have in your wardrobe. Next up I have another blazer. This one is from Misguided. It's this just regular black color. It's such a good staple. I got this one in a US size 4 and it has the same shoulder pads and same boxy fit as my Lioness blazer. I just love this one. It's so perfect for all seasons pretty much, but black is always a good color choice for the fall also. The next jacket that I have is actually a men's blazer coat. Dale placed an online order. I don't even know where it's from. I'm so sorry. It just says M original on it and I'm just totally blanking on where he ordered it from, but the jacket didn't end up fitting him. So he passed it to me. It has this really cool kind of blue and beige plaid detail on it. It's like a gray base. And then it also has a belt around. So I'm super excited to style this. Plaid is always super in for fall and it truly has the boyfriend fit because my boyfriend gave it to me. So it just has to have the boyfriend fit obviously. So definitely love that perfect jacket for fall and I love the cinch at the waist. All right, and moving on to this shacket. Shackets have been extremely huge this fall. Everybody seems to have them. They're big and trending, and lucky for me, this one also came from that online order that Dale purchased where the items didn't fit him and he passed them down to me. I really love this sand color. It's like the softest, warm material, and it has these like buttons in the front, Super cute. I love the oversized baggy fit of this and it's just gonna be the perfect thing to throw on with so many outfits. All right, and next up is a jacket that I thrifted. So it's this pleather material. It's like a not totally cropped but not super long jacket. It has all of these like zippers and pockets with silver hardware and the sleeves also have like a zipper on them. I got this one from Valley Village for I think just like $15 or something which is still expensive for a thrift store but I really wanted another leather jacket so definitely a good call for that one. And same but different, I got another leather jacket. This one is from Misguided. It's the US size four, and I know I already have one super similar to this. I literally just showed it to you, but this one has the like buckle on it, and I really love that kind of like buckle hardware belt detail at the bottom. And honestly, if my first jacket already had that detailing, I wouldn't need this second jacket. So I'll have to choose between the two of them because I don't need so many of the similar jacket but needed this one also this next coat is one of my most worn pieces so far this fall it's this thrifted jacket that's kind of like a long blazer or like i'm not even sure what to call it but it's super cute i've been wearing it all the time i'm honestly just gonna like pop a few of my pictures wearing it because it's my most worn like i said but I just really love the baggy oversize and how it looks good with all of my skirts and jeans. And every time I wear it to work, people say that I'm dressed like the Matrix. So 
I mean, I don't really see it, but whatever floats their boats. Another faux leather coat. I have this white creamish colored croc print jacket from Lioness that I got from Princess Polly. This one actually has a very similar fit to my thrifted jacket, except for it comes with this belt that you can use to cinch it up. And you can kind of just get away with wearing this one as a dress if you have it tied up, but I would recommend wearing shorts underneath because it is still a little bit on the shorter side. But I really love this like white cream color for fall and winter. I just think that it really helps brighten a dreary season a little bit more. This next coat is super lightweight. It's this olive green brush jersey trench coat. I got it quite a few years ago from American Apparel, but it's been a repeat in my wardrobe every fall and every spring. I really love the kind of green shade that it's in and I feel like it complements a lot of outfits really well. Another thrifted beauty, I got this cream colored super long trench coat from Value Village. It's the brand London Fog and I always see these London Fog brand coats like all over the racks so they're really good quality if you ever see them. I love that it has this kind of tie up detail on the sleeve and I love that it's just crazy long. So I'm pretty petite, I'm five two and a half, and this is like a very very long coat on me but I just love that like full length vibe that it gives. And since I love that other trench coat so much, I also got a faux leather one from Misguided in a US size four. It's the same kind of beige color, very similar length. And I just feel like it'll help me be able to wear my trench coats longer and stay cozier because the faux leather material gets you so warm inside. I just am super obsessed with this. And it also came with a belt so that I can cinch it at the waist if I wanted to. And because you can never have too many trench coats and I've been obsessed with brown colors this fall, I also got this brown croc trench coat from Misguided. It only came in a tall, so it is a little bit longer in the sleeve and a bit longer than the other one, but I did the US size four again and it, I think it just fits perfectly even being short. So that is definitely a plus and I just really, really needed something for a brown coat and this one screamed my name. Moving on to some of my cozier jackets, I have this zip up whitish cream colored jacket that I got from Grace Clothing in Orchard Park Mall. The brand is Better B and I'm wearing a size small. I really love that it has this stripe detail across the arm and the body of it. And then usually when I wear it, I just zip it up all the way so I stay super cozy. And I love that it's kind of like sporty but comfy and just kind of has a lot going on for it. This next cozy coat has been my lazy day go-to for years now. It's the IMGA pixie coat in the brown color. So it's just that classic teddy coat. I feel like everybody has a teddy coat and if you don't, you are missing out because they're so comfy and so easy to throw on and just feel like you're wearing like a big fluffy blanket all day. I got the size extra small because as you can see, it's already meant to be super oversized. You don't need to size up for it at all. And moving on to some cozier coats, I thrifted this one also. It's kind of like a faux leather with like the soft shearling inside and then it's a little bit cropped too. I think this one is super cute and I love that it's soft on the inside but super durable on the outside and it just kind of gives like a really good elevation to more basic outfits. Next is this jacket from Pretty Little Thing. I ordered it in a US size four. It's super oversized. I definitely could have stuck to the US size two because the sleeves are actually a little bit too long for me, but I really love how warm and like thick it is. I wore this the other day when I was shooting and it really just kept me warm on like the coldest day, I swear. This next coat is actually my absolute favorite in this whole haul video. So it's Lioness once again from Princess Polly and it's a size extra small. It's this leather, faux leather trench coat that has the belted detail in the middle and then it has this really fun faux fur collar and sleeve detailing. I just feel so bougie when I wear this and it keeps you super warm. I love the length on it and I really love wearing the belt to cinch it up and to add some shape to my outfit. 
This very last coat is from American Apparel. It's their wool coat in the petite sizing. I don't believe that they still make this one anymore. So I've had it for years and years now. I don't actually wear it as often as I used to just because I have so many other coats to wear, but I know that it's not one I'm gonna be getting rid of because it's kind of one of those forever coats. It's so well made and it keeps me really, really warm. So I keep it around year to year. Thank you all for tuning in to this week's video. I was super happy to share my fall and winter coat collection with you guys. Make sure you check the description down below if you found a coat that you love so that you can get your hands on it too. And just in case anybody was wondering, this top that I'm wearing for the try on is from Rebel Flow. I think it's super cute. I am obsessed with the reverse kind of pattern on it. And then I'm wearing my Levi's rib cage. They are the boot cut faded black ones and I have them in a size 24. And then these are my little Missouri hoops. So just in case anyone was wondering and as always, please check me out on Instagram at Austin Paula, subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell notifications and I will see you guys in the next video.